almost two years ago, I posted a uh, video of making an ombre type soap in uh, very bright rainbow colors. I'll put a link to that uh, video down below. But I decided to try it again today using more muted colors, mainly uh, with natural clays. In the case of blue, uh, I don't have a blue clay, so I'm using a white clay with um, some woad powder added to it. This is the recipe that I plan to use. Uh, should be quite uh, slow moving. It's uh, castor coconut, uh, lard, sunflower, high oleic sunflower, and beef tallow, predominantly lard. So that'll give a nice uh, quality soap that should uh, take quite a long time to harden. And then I'm using a little bit of sodium lactate and sugar in it. And uh, for fragrance, I'm using Salon Black Tea from Oregon Trail Soap Supply. It's a really good smell, uh, does not accelerate, does not discolor, so I like to use it in a soap. These are my colors. This is uh, Australian Red Reef Clay. Uh, in a little bit of water to get it moist, that'll give a dark red. And then uh, rose kaolin, which gives a kind of a deep pink color. And then a mixture of about half and half French red clay and Brazilian gold clay for orange. And then just Brazilian gold clay for yellow, French green clay, and then white kaolin with some woad powder added to make it blue. And this one, because woad is not at all mixable with water, I've added a little bit of the oils from the recipe to uh, moisten the woad, but also water to moisten the kaolin. And then finally, uh, Brazilian purple clay. My oils are at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and my lye water is at 111 Fahrenheit. I have my colorants already pre-moistened. The uh, sodium lactate and sugar are already in the lye water, and the fragrance oil is already in the mixed oils. This uh, should be a very slow moving recipe, so I'll either speed things up here or uh, edit part of this stirring process out. But first I want to get it to a nice emulsion and then I'll distribute it to the colors and start whisking them individually. That's a pretty good emulsion. I don't care if these are not exactly the same volume for each color, but I'm going to just try to eyeball it to get close. So I'm going to start with the dark red, pouring it down the side of this mold, which is propped at a slant. And then I'll start adding a small amount of the orange to that.
It's not changing much, so I'm going to use up most of this. I don't want to use too much of my orange at this point. Now, some of the pure orange. some orange plus yellow. And pure yellow. Actually, I said that wrong. I went from Australian Red Reef to Rose Clay, which is pink, and then turned that into orange. So I'm on the orange now. Gonna add some yellow to it. finish off the orangish yellow this time and go on to the pure yellow now to add a little bit of green to that some pure green and green mixed with blue a little more blue in that I think I need a different prop for my mold. There, that should work. Now, pure blue. And then I'll start adding purple to that.
And then finally the pure purple. So I will spray that surface with alcohol and uh, put it in a 55 degrees Celsius oven for a couple hours and we'll have a look at it tomorrow. The soap is now a day old and it's hardened nicely. The look of the sides. I'll clean these up a little bit and then we'll have a close-up look at them. So here are the cut sides of the uh, finished soap. I'm pleased with how uniform they are. Every bar is pretty much like every other bar. Um, one thing I don't like about it is I did get some glycerin rivers. I realize uh, I was using a very wet recipe and I did um, sea pop it so those both promote uh, glycerin rivers. And in this case, I wish they weren't there. Often I say I don't mind glycerin rivers, but I would like these soaps better without. So these are sides as they were against the mold. These are uh, tops. And then this is a bottom side. But there's the uh, cut surface. I do like them. I just wish they didn't have the glycerin rivers. <laughs>